So I was looking at my Gamma Tower a few minutes ago and I asked myself, I wonder what it would taste like if I tried all of the flavors together. We're gonna find out. Yeah. Baby, do you so damn fine, no? Wanna know if I can hit it from behind, though? I'm sipping on you like some fine wine, though. When it's over, I press the wine, Talking about Okay, so the flavors I have. Sample packet of fruit punch, pineapple, grape, phaseberry, coconut, mystery flavor, blood orange, peach mango, normal orange, caffeine free. Jeb did this a long time ago, back before he hit like a million subscribers. He did it with a lot of the original flavors. Since then, mystery flavor, coconut, pineapple, orange have all come out. So this is going to be a little bit different. A little bit of fruit punch, a little bit of orange, a little bit of blood orange, a little bit of peach mango, mystery flavor as well, coconut, a little bit of face berry. I wonder if this is even good anymore. Does Gamma expire? I've had this for a while. I'll just, I'll, I'll take the good looking powder. Just a little dash of grape. All right, and last but not least, pineapple. Nine flavors in total. I can't tell what color it is because my shaker cup is Wow. Is it supposed to foam this much? It smells really good. Wow. That's fucking good. You can literally mix any flavor of Gamma and it will taste good. I'm not kidding. I don't drink these flavors just by themselves. I always mix them. Before I decided to try all of those flavors, I tweeted out that I was going to be doing a Q&A for today's video. So let's see what questions we got. All right, this is a pretty good question from at Monday Junior. What makes you happy? Not only is that a good question, but that is a fucking hard question. And I like hard questions. Okay, now I got to think about my life real quick. What makes me happy? Having a purpose makes me happy, I guess. Uploading these YouTube videos, entertaining you guys. That's my purpose, I guess you could say. And I'm not sure if this question is asking like what things in particular make me happy or what things do I need in my life to make me happy. Like I said, this is a really hard question. I can't be alone. When I'm alone, I am very, very not happy. So that basically means I need to always have my friends and family around, Alicia, and then animals, I guess you could say. I know that it's just an animal, but I always need to have them in my life for some apparent reason. I've, I've just always loved them. And then I think we all know that YouTube makes me happy. I'm always sitting in front of the camera just smiling, having fun, making videos. This has made a huge impact on my life. I was never this happy when I was like 14, 15 years old. But as soon as I started really getting into YouTube, I guess that's when I really became happy with my life. So I hope that answers your question in the least complicated way possible. A underscore Jackson asks, what made you start YouTube? Now, although that is a very frequently asked question, I still feel like it deserves an answer. I guess what made me start YouTube was the other people who were making YouTube videos. No, my reasoning for making a YouTube channel was not to make money. Believe me, when I was 10 years old, I didn't know that you could make money. Because that's when I started my first YouTube channel, eight years ago. I don't even know if you could make money off of YouTube eight years ago. All I know is I watched a couple of YouTubers like Smosh, Nigga Higga, just a few of the only people who like actually uploaded videos back then. So I guess you could say I started YouTube because because I wanted to give the enjoyment that those big YouTubers gave me as a kid to other people. And to say that I have accomplished that makes the 10 year old me very happy. I'm still drinking this. It's fucking great. Okay, at Brandon asks, how long have you and Alicia been together now? When was our anniversary? October 1st of 2015? No. It couldn't have been 2015. Yeah, October 1st of 2014 is, I guess, our anniversary. That's the day we first started talking. I don't know why I thought it was in 2015. Okay, at N-I-X-K underscore seven asks, if you could move to one place, where would it be? If I could move to one place right now, just take all of this stuff and boom, plop it in another area, I would pick back in Florida with my friends and family as of right now. That is the place that I want to be most. So it makes me very happy to say in eight days, I'm going to be going to visit for two weeks, so yes. But yeah, hopefully that answers your question. Best damn Daniel impersonation. I got this. Damn charcoal. Back at it again with being cute as fuck. Can you guys not bark when I'm trying to record? Damn charcoal. Can you stop barking? I'm sorry. I tried. The neighbor's bulldogs don't like me, apparently. At two man army underscore asks, do you love the fans? I think I know how to answer this question. Mm -hmm. I love you. Okay, at Synergy Heroic asks, what was your goal when you first started getting into big clans and starting to get noticed on YouTube? Well, my goal stayed the same. Grow as big as possible and entertain as many people as possible. Okay, this guy's name on Twitter is Joker115. I don't know what his ad is. What was your favorite childhood movie slash 
TV show. My favorite childhood movie, like when I was a really little kid, just it has to be Land Before Time. That is the only movie that I remember watching as a kid. And then my favorite TV show? Mmm, God, there was so many great TV shows back then. How could I choose? I mean, you've got the Powerpuff Girls, you've got SpongeBob, you've got the Fair of the Odd Parents. Mmm, too many to choose from. I'm sorry, I don't have a favorite. They're all the best. Do you plan on ever having kids? Well, if I don't teach the next generation of children to quick scope and trick shot, who is going to carry on the legacy? Nah, but seriously, of course I want to have kids. Ooh, this is a really good question. At Reeves underscore OG asks, what is your favorite thing to do when you're not making videos? Now, basically, when I'm not making videos, everything is my favorite thing to do. Whenever I have free time, I'm excited about it. Okay, at Mac Mac SYT asks, on a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you love doing YouTube full time? Also, what are your goals for the future? Okay, on a scale of 1 to 10, obviously 10. It is the most satisfying thing ever to upload a YouTube video every single day and have thousands and thousands of people watch it. Not only that, but when you work really hard on a video and it does well, that just feels amazing. What are my goals for the future? My obvious goal right now is 1 million subscribers. That is something as a 10 year old kid I never thought to be possible, but here I am more than halfway there. So obviously there are bigger goals that I have, but the current one is 1 million subscribers and 100,000 videos. Those are my current goal. Can I just say that I am getting so many fucking questions? So if, if I missed your question or if your question didn't get in here, I am so sorry. There is so many. <sighs> okay, I think I'm going to finish it off with this question from Irv1101. What is the craziest thing that you have ever done? Uh, definitely moving out of my house at the age of 17 to come live with Alicia here in Colorado. A lot of my friends thought that was super risky coming out here for somebody that I had only been talking to for a few months. What the the heart wants what the heart wants and I'm glad I made this decision because look where we are now. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. You know I would appreciate it very much if you left a thumbs up to show your support. I thought to myself, when was the last time I did a question and answers video? And it has been several hundred thousand subscribers since I've done one of these, so it was long overdue. As always my friends, I hope you all have yourselves a fantastic day. Farewell, goodbye, here comes the, mm, the YouTube grind. Woo!